So just a little bit about what Deckard is doing in social media. Um, I spend the majority of my time working one-on-one -on -one with partners and associates on uh, LinkedIn and really personalizing strategies for them. Uh, I also am responsible for the firm's, uh, maintaining the firm's presence on Twitter. Uh, as well as, as Richard mentioned, uh, we have a video briefing series uh, that is on YouTube and, of course, the Facebook page, which we'll get into. And as far as some of the key initiatives that we've partnered on, uh, specifically with uh, associate development and, and recruiting, which have been you know, part of the important audiences uh, for us in social media, uh, we're partnering on things like alumni outreach, new lawyer integration, so when a lateral hire comes on board, working with them one-on-one -on -one to make sure that their, their social media profiles are optimized, that they're following firm best practices, and that they're hopefully getting a little bit more uh, out of social media than what they're, what they're currently used to. Deckert on Facebook, this is a project uh, that, we've, that we've just launched uh, towards the end of March, but it took a lot of uh, coming together before to make that happen. If you go to our page, and, and as you saw from that, that screenshot, we're focusing on younger lawyers or younger staff within the firm, just because of really the demographics of Facebook, who do we think are using it. Um, you know, we found that for us, the majority of people visiting our page are between the ages of 25 and 34. So, you know, finding the right people within the firm that are going to sort of convey that, that look that we want. And then also, you know, showing you know, not only the personal side of the firm, but the fact that we are a global firm. It really has proven to be a, a good communication tool um, where we are connecting with recruits, we're connecting with alumni, and that social engagement with current employees that I mentioned. So essentially it's really, you know, an extra net. It's something that is out there for the world to see, but we're really, you know, treating it as, as a platform for the Deckard community in and of itself. Some of the challenges have been uh, sustaining that momentum post-launch, so everybody's you know, really excited to get it going and, and to be a part of it, but once that happens, um, you know, just keeping people interested and reminding people that you know, we need to, to keep getting their content and then sustain that momentum. Uh, I'm just going to kind of discuss how Deckard currently aligns our project management and pricing uh, departments and capabilities with marketing and procuring new business for our partners. We begin the project management process with making sure we first understand the objectives of the client in terms not just of the work, but what their expectation is in terms of fees and staffing. And we try to work with uh, the partners to create a detailed work plan and budget while we are working with marketing to pitch a new opportunity. So the client has an idea of what tasks are involved in the work, um, what they're looking for in terms of contingencies, and if in fact they require a budget to be able to take back to uh, their their company, then we be, would be able to create that up front and provide that. And the project management process doesn't end at the win of an opportunity. We integrate uh, pricing with our project management department to be able to understand what the client's pricing concerns are at the onset and then perform some detailed analysis around what the work is, what they're currently looking for, and model out pricing scenarios that would ultimately uh, fit the financial objectives of the client and the firm in terms of profitability. It's very important that project management and pricing align themselves with marketing. As I wouldn't call myself you know, a wordsmith to be able to communicate the value of the firm, um, we wouldn't want to expect marketing to be able to come up with a creative pricing proposal and to learn all the profitability metrics of the firm as well. So knowledge management is basically, let me move out of the way, it's um, collecting the insight and experiences of everybody else in the organization and then somehow leveraging that through systems or management techniques so you can you know leverage all that information to do your work better and more efficiently so at reed smith we have um <clears throat> we focus everything around the uh, manner of life cycle including uh, knowledge management so you know you win the work you plan you execute and review and clients over and over have um, you know, represented that value and efficiency is one of the main drivers. And within knowledge management, uh, we try to address value and efficiency by you know, uh, leveraging all that information. So for example, like 10 contracts, and they're all kind of similar. You don't want to spend time like, looking through all 10. You can feed it into this um, software 
and then it spits out this report that's you know pretty and has all these visual representations of commonality between the different um, uh, parts of the uh, contract. So this is pretty exciting stuff here. And what we want to do with knowledge management within our knowledge management team is trying to facilitate getting everybody on the same page, right? To answer this question, maybe, how might we more effectively meet our clients' needs? So this is where the client comes in, and effectively communicate our capabilities. So we're trying to, um, you know, focus on everybody's expertise and trying to collaborate, collaborate um, <clears throat> to to answer this question, you know, and trying to come up with creative solutions. Thank you.